can be fearful. If we are fearful, we're giving a socialist government, a social power, socialism, a power to control us the way we're not supposed to be controlled. We came, I came to Canada not to be controlled by the government. I came to Canada to have the freedom of choice. I came to Canada to live free. I did not come to Canada to put me into a system that would put me isolation in my home and tell me you have no right to believe in what you believe. You have no right to do what you choose to do because we think this is best for you. I don't need that kind of government. I need a government that gives a freedom of choice to all mankind. Whether I am a Christian, whether I am a Jew, whether I am a Muslim, it doesn't matter. Whatever I am, I have the freedom to be who I'm supposed to be. And that is the liberty that we need to fight for. This is the liberty that we need to stand for. And we cannot make this a race issue only. We cannot make this a Christian issue only. We have to make this a liberty issue that we need in this hour. Our liberty is being robbed by us. escape Iran because of the terrorism regime that is ruling over Iran and uh, the reason I'm here today is because I want the freedom that I came to Canada for not to be completely reestablished again not being controlled by the lies of the media by the lies of the government that we're serving right now and people have to understand that the government currently is doing exactly what dictators do in countries like Iran putting fear in people controlling the economy, robbing people from their well-being. And so therefore I chose with our church to be here to stand for the freedom of our nation. That's great. And yeah. I, I really liked how you talked about liberty in your in your speech and what an important value that is, you know, for people of faith as well, right? Yes. That freedom to to assemble and yes. uh, freedom to practice one's religion yes. and you know to have limitations on government so that they can't dictate every yes. aspect of, of our society. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I, and I'll, I'll also add to that that I was also born in Iran. Uh, I'm not Persian, but my, my, uh, my father was there uh, on a job in uh, 1978. So I left in 1979 just, just after the revolution began. So I, and I, I live in the North Shore. There's, there's yes. a lot of Persian people yes. there. Uh, and, and I've heard the same thing time and time again. That they, many of them, they move to escape the bureaucracy, the yes. uh, severe limitations yes. on the freedom of the state, yes. and they're so happy that they found a freer life in Canada, but they're worried as well that they could slip away if we, exactly. if we make the wrong decisions as a society and our leaders take us in one direction, we'll have to say, no, we need our freedom. This exactly. has made this country great and has made it great for everyone. Yes, for everyone. yes. I believe that. I believe that. with the BC Libertarian Party here. We're celebrating Magna Carta Day today. It's uh, June 15th every year is Magna Carta Day. And Magna Carta, in case you, you don't know, it's the, one of the foundational documents of liberty. Signed way back in the year 1215, the barons of England were tired of having the king come to them and take their sons and their horses for wars that they didn't particularly care about. And uh, they said, hey, listen, if you're gonna be asking all this of us, you've gotta constrain your powers in, in certain ways. And so one of the, the amazing principles that Magna Carta established is the idea of the rule of law and that nobody, even the monarch, should be above the law. Um, it, it also enshrined some other rights. There's one passage here that is really kind of echoed down through the ages and, and provided inspiration for generations of, uh, of people who, who cared about basic liberties and, and fought for for limited government and, and greater rights for the citizens. It says, no free man shall be seized or imprisoned or stripped of his rights or possession or outlawed or exiled or deprived of his standing in any way 
nor will we proceed with force against him except by the lawful judgment of his equals by the law of the land. So it's that real spirit of you know, the law applies equally uh, to everyone and it's not an arbitrary will of, of one individual or one power group. And so for the BC Libertarian Party, we thought, hey, well, this is a good time to, to celebrate Magna Carta. You know, we're facing a lot of restrictions on our freedom, especially over the past several months. And so Magna Carta can serve as, a, as an inspiration for how do we move forward? How do we look at those basic principles of liberty and freedom and reinvigorate that tradition, right? To make sure that, that government is limited and that everybody's rights are fully respected, especially things like we were just at a, at a rally and people were assembled there to talk about um, their freedom to be able to express their religion and, and practice their religion. So freedom of assembly, freedom of expression, these are all uh, basic rights that, that we need to, to celebrate. And uh, so we're celebrating Magna Carta Day. So we're trying to restore greater liberty in, in BC and we hope that you'll be on board with that mission with us uh, either as a member, as a donor, as a supporter, as a volunteer. We're always looking for, for people to help out in that regard so you can find us at libertarian.bc.ca.